Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Animal shortage is still going on in the year 2023. Three years since the animal shortage started since March 2020, C-19. Today we're here in the beautiful town of Wasilla, roughly about 20, 30 minutes north of Anchorage, Alaska. And we're at the Sportsman's Warehouse. It's been a long time since I've been at this Sportsman's Warehouse. I don't remember when was the last time we did an animal shortage um, showcasing this place. But I know that this place always comes through with good stuff. They always have good stuff. So about two weeks ago, we were at the Wasilla High School Gun Show. You guys all saw that video. If you guys haven't seen it, just click down below. Check it out. Uh, but we had a good time at the gun show. Lots of ammo. Pretty expensive. Uh, if you really need it, you buy it. But if you don't, you can definitely pass. So I'm really excited to see what the Sportsman's Warehouse in Wasilla has for us. I know that they're going to have a good selection. I already know that their price is going to be up. And also, they do have sales tax here in this little small town. Um, this small town. Uh, what I'm excited to see is I'm excited to see what kind of calibers they have for hunting rifles. I want to see what kind of selection they have and uh, how many different selection they have. So, for example, if they have 308, uh, they, which brand do they have? Do they have like Nosler, Winchester, Federal, etc., etc.? And I want to see what kind of 300 Win Mag they have. If they have some good 300 Win Mag. I'll probably buy some. And let's check out their shotgun because I know shotgun has been a pretty rare um, ammo too. 12 gauge it has been popping up, 16 gauge, 410, etc. etc. And then some people are also still looking for some special hunting rifle calibers. So, with that, uh, without further ado, let's go take a look at their inventory and see what they got. I also did an mission today's date, it is January 26, 2023, just for the record. So, we have something to keep track on. And um, I'm, I'll try to go ahead and film as much as possible. If I don't film any, I'll go ahead and take photos and just put on a photo slideshow, which makes it a little bit easier for you as a viewer to um, take a look at the calibers, the ammo, and see the pricing. Because sometimes when I'm filming, I do kind of pan fast, uh, just because I try to get as much video done without holding up the line. But uh, the parking lot doesn't seem to be packed today. It's just the afternoon, Thursday. So let's go see. They have a clearance event. Definitely no ammo in that clearance event. We all know that. Store is pretty empty today. I'm excited to see what they have, man. Because like I said, this place here, they always have some good, good stuff. Let me know if you guys have a sportsman's warehouse in your city, wherever you're watching this from. So right here, tons of magazine. I think this is the reloading. No, this is just the cleaning section. We're not gonna, I think, I don't think we're gonna find much reloading anymore. Oh wow, look at that. So here it is guys. So this bay here, go ahead and screenshot that. This bay here and the other side. There's just too much ammo, guys. <laughs> too much ammo to show you guys everything, man. I would do my best to uh, get a photo of everything, but you guys are <coughs> you guys are looking for more details. You can take an estimated guess. Yeah, so this is all 12 gauge. <coughs> yeah, some pretty good prices. 12 gauge, eight shot, nine shot, a little bit of everything, man. A lot of ammo, a lot of shotgun for sure. <laughs> 12 gauge slug, two and three quarter, 300 grand green. This stuff here is $22. Shotgun, 12, 20 gauge, 10 gauge down here for 19, and some 10 gauge down there, double old buck shot. So lots and lots. Oh, look at that stuff, guys! Look, we found the, we found the stuff I was looking for. Barns, barns, 
300 win man or $67 I don't think Anchorage has any of that I think, <clears throat> I think the last time I found that in um, in, in the Anchorage area was actually up in Chugiach at the Three Bears oh yeah so they got tons of 300 look at that the Federal damn <clears throat> that was 180 green <clears throat> this is 200 green this is the 180 grain right here. Oh man. This is nice, guys. This is nice. I, I gotta decide which one I want. So I am gonna buy one. I'm debating if I should stick with the Barnes. I think <coughs> I think I got the 150 at home. So I'm not sure if I should do 165. I think I might go for 165 or the 180 grain. Actually, I'm gonna hold off on this. I'm not, I don't need to buy it now. I don't need it right now. I don't need it right now, and I know that when I do need it during the summertime, there's gonna be more. So yeah, three three little pool right there. So they got some nice stuff down here. Seven M. Seven six two six point five PRC lots of six point five tons of six point five PRC people were looking for this stuff during the shortage. Look at that man, Nosler 270 man. That's anything Nosler was hard to find during the shortage and man they're coming out with a Nosler. More 7M down here. Man, they got a lot of selection. They have a good selection of calibers and then they have a selection of different calibers, you know, different brands. So that's 308. Just tons of stuff. Three really win match down here. Yeah, three really grizzly right there. <coughs> six mm down here. Some six point five grand. Twenty five oh six. And some more six point five cream more down there. 127 grain and 125 grain. This is all the 223 ammo right here. Tons of stuff at the barns. <coughs> 55 grain. TSX 35 bucks. This stuff is nice. Nosler. I never heard of this before. I never seen this before. Nosler. Environment ammunition 223. This is pretty nice stuff right here. I haven't seen this forever. That's 38 bucks. Nice. Some 2236 saw down there. This is the 22 and the 9mm. This is 500 Smith and Wesson, 400, 460. So, a ton of that stuff right there. 460s. Here's all the 10 mil for all my 10 mil guys and girls out there. 45 Auto Go Dot. This is 45 Auto. This is all the uh, high defense stuff. We're not gonna go through all of it, but there is out here. Some more 10 mil right here too. Let me know what the price of 10 mil is going on for in your city because I know the price of 10 mil um, fluctuate a lot. So ton of 10 mil. And uh, 10 mil was pretty rare too during the shortage. <laughs> but now there's tons of it everywhere. 
This is the buffalo bowl right here, $45 for um, 220 grain. And some 220 grizzly down there for $36, $35. Damn, <coughs> look at all this 10 mil, nice. There's like one row, all 10 mil, and then more 10 mil right here. Look at that. So 10 mil Federal Fusion, 200 grain, 30 and 40 dollars. Uh, 200 grain. This is the same stuff right here. So double stack. Some 200 grain full metal jacket for 55. And some Federal 200 grain for 60 down here. Damn, and more 10 mil. Holy smoke. They got more 10 mil than 9 mil. Look at that. They got federal. This is the cheap stuff that you just want to go shoot planking with. So they got 200 grain down there by Fusion. And the regular federal, 180 grain. Dynamic defense. Holy smoke. Shout out to all the 10 mil guys. Lots of ammo for you guys. Hollow tips. And the blazer this is the cheap stuff right here actually 35 bucks so this is stuff you want to buy just for plinking around and they got some barns too out here 47 for some barns 10 mil 155 357 mag 38 special damn they got a good selection definitely a good selection from press 357 I'll go ahead and snap some photos. You guys can look at all the specs later at the end of the video. Uh, 40 Smith & Wesson, Federal, Hornady, Custom. All right here, guys. Civil Defense, $41, 60 grain, 2000 FPS. And some Goat Dot right here, 165 grain. And some Remington Bonnet. Yeah, they got a good selection, man. Tons of ammo. So this is the 9 mil right here. This is all 9 mil and 9 mil. So you can see here, two bays for 9 mil versus like three full bays right here of 10 mil. So here it is. Go ahead and snap some photos for y'all. They don't have any really big value pack for uh, 9 mil right now. Oh, look, something's for sale. Look, the Fayachi, 18 bucks was $23. This is the cheap stuff right here. This might be worth buying. Uh, not really. Damn. That is <coughs> that is the cheapest stuff though. Nineteen dollar versus twenty three dollars. Some more nine mil down here. This stuff is new right here. I haven't seen this forever. Defense ammunition, subsonic, one fifty five grain. Fifty bucks. Jeez. Even the cheap Remington stuff, $24. This Federal right here used to be like, you know, 12, 13 bucks. Like the good old days is gone, guys. Don't even talk about the good old days no more. This is the new age, man. This is all small stuff, 30, 380. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read out, but you guys can go ahead and uh, watch the end of the video. I'll put some photos. I'll snap some photos right now. $45, $44 for this stuff here. Ballistic clean, 100 grain. And here's that sale price. This is still expensive, guys. $19 for this stuff. And that's still expensive. Some tactical stuff, some blazer. Even the blazer are expensive, man. Blazer is supposed to be super cheap, man. Look at that. That's crazy. So very good selection guys super impressed man super impressed with their ammo and uh, i think that's about it right here we cover everything the value pack 150 round 123 some remington 55 grain 250 for the buckets of these are buckets of 250 so almost a dollar round yep so um winchester 200 round pack 154 man so that's bad right there guys good selection of ammo a little bit of everything do a little quick skim for you guys for reloading a good amount of shells we're not going to go through all of it but 
small amount of shell, nine mil. So nine mil, two fifty counts, run about fifty bucks. On prime brass and tons of bullets. Uh, there's no shortage of bullets as far as what I've been seeing. Tons of bullets, but like I said, they're still short on primer and powder. So none of that stuff. Yep, no primer, no powder, so that's about it for reloading. This is just all cleaning supplies. So that's pretty much it for today's ammo update. Here at the uh, local sportsman's warehouse in Wasilla, Alaska. That's gonna wrap up today's ammo update here in Anchorage or in Wasilla, Alaska. As always, let me know in the comments section what you guys got in your city, your state, and how are your prices. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Much love. Talk to you guys then.